Most of us have come to expect very little from the SARC. It's been in a state of paralysis for years now, all thanks to the disruptive tactics of one member, Pakistan. The Wuhan virus pandemic has, was in fact a chance to revive the grouping. The only way to beat the virus was to fight it together. India took the lead, convening a virtual summit and setting up an emergency fund. But as expected, Pakistan derailed that meeting, shifting away from the agenda. On Thursday, the SARC will convene again. Pakistan has accepted India's invite. But the question is, will Islamabad play fair ball? It covers 3% of the world's area, 21% of the world's population and contributes almost $4 trillion to the world economy. Yet it's been condemned to operate in political wilderness. SARC, the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. The last time their leaders met was seven years back in 2014. To kindly remain seated until the departure. The pandemic offered a chance to reset the grouping, like to, to revive the lost spirit of but South Asian like solidarity. India's Narendra Modi made the first move. He convened a video conference on March 15, 2020. Still early days in the pandemic. It was attended by all heads of state except Pakistan. They sent the health minister instead. With over 100... India has been at the forefront of South Asia's COVID response. It contributed $10 million to the emergency fund. Dispatched technical teams to the Maldives, Sri Lanka, Bhutan and Afghanistan and pushed for collective action against the virus. Not always with success. Undeterred, New Delhi is making another push. On Thursday, India will convene a virtual meeting of SARC health ministers. It's a workshop to take stock of the outbreak and discuss the best response measures. Despite the air of tension, an invite was sent to Pakistan. The response has been positive. But the question is, will Pakistan stick to the agenda because precedent indicates it won't. At the last virtual meeting in March, Pakistan raised the issue of Kashmir. With over 100 it was condemned as politicization of a humanitarian platform. These disruptions have forced India to go it alone. On... New Delhi has sent vaccines to every SARC nation except Pakistan. Two million doses to Bangladesh, one million to Nepal, 150,000 to Bhutan, 100,000 to the Maldives and half a million to Sri Lanka and Afghanistan. Pakistan would rather have China made jabs. The paralysis at SARC has not affected bilateral exchanges. Member states continue to engage with each other, some more successful than others. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan is embarking on one such mission. He is slated to visit Sri Lanka on February 23rd. Ties between the two nations have been cordial. But recently, common interests have disappeared. What remains is a mutual ally, China. Imran Khan hasn't even boarded the plane. But he's already received a royal snub. He was supposed to address the Sri Lankan parliament on the 24th. A rare honour for a visiting leader. But at the last moment, Colombo has decided to cancel. It's a snub that could haunt Sri Lanka at the UN Human Rights Council, where a resolution is being tabled against them. Pakistan's vote would have been crucial. The pandemic has strained regional groupings. Even well-oiled ones like the European Union have stumbled. In that context, SARC hasn't done too badly. It's an important lesson for multilateralism. All it takes is one rogue member to ruin the union. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.
Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.